All right, what's up guys? VV back with another video. And in today's video, we got a pretty short one lined up. I'm just going to show you guys a single game on The Sim because I'm actually, you know, uh, trying to pump out this video real quick so that I can be ready for a, to, to broadcast or to commentate a tournament later today. <clears throat> Excuse me. I typically do not miss uh, a day. In fact, I have not missed a day now for, I think, uh, I think I'm going on 322 days straight of uh, putting out a video every single day on YouTube. So I do get a lot of comments saying, hey, can we get more like um, better matchups against the decks you're trying out? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, hopefully in the future, yes. In the future, yes, I'll probably have better um, better content as far as like uh, better matchups. Uh, but with finishing out this year as a teacher and, you know, with just <laughs> life gets busy, making a video every day. I got the two kids as well. It's just, you know, it's a full plate, so I do apologize. I wish I could give you guys better games all the time, but sometimes you're just kind of stuck with what you're uh, stuck with. So anyway, back to what we were saying today. Uh, this is going to be a very short video. This is just a quick game on the sim of Bonnie versus Zoro and, uh, Zoro and Sanji. This is me playing Bonnie, of course. I'll share the list at the end of the video. Uh, but, but I have to get ready to commentate on a tournament today um, hosted by Moonlight TCG. So typically speaking, it would be me and Joey doing it, but he's actually at a tournament today, so he won't be able to make it. So definitely check out the website if you have not already, uh, moonlighttcg.com. So that way you can see, you know, upcoming tournaments, um, webcam tournaments. There's, there's a bunch of stuff to check out on there. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll be hosting today. So if you are listening to this in time, hopefully you can hop over to, to the uh, stream. I'm going to be streaming it on YouTube. This will be my first time ever streaming on YouTube. Let me make sure this is at 2x speed. Sorry, guys. It is. It is at 2x speed. Good. Uh, but I will be hosting it over on YouTube. It'll be my first time ever hosting um, a tournament, first of all, or like, you know, commentating uh, solo on a tournament while also streaming on YouTube. I've, I've never actually streamed on YouTube. I used to stream on Twitch many, many years ago for Hearthstone, uh, but I have not done it for this game on, um, on YouTube. So again, hopefully you guys can come over and check it out and hang out over there. So I will talk about the game at least a little bit here. Uh, Zoro and Sanji is becoming one of my favorite decks, but I'm going to tell you all right now, I think three of the strongest decks in the format for OP07 are going to be Bonnie, Luchi, and um, NL. I think those three are going to be the, like, just the big boogeyman of, you know, the, the boogeyman um, triangle of OP07 with a few decks that can kind of sneak in like Red Purple Law can definitely get in the conversation, Black Yellow Luffy, and probably a few others. Uh, but, but typically speaking, I do think those three are going to be massive when it comes to the competitive scene. Again, that's Green Bonnie. Um, Yellow Enel and Black Luchi. Luchi slash Gecko Moria. I, I don't know if they figured out which one's better or not yet in OP07, but I think it's Luchi. I think it's slightly Luchi. So I've I've gotten the board back here um, as the as uh, as the Bonnie player, and my, my life is still very high. I've got a commanding spot in this game. He has been removing cards. For, you know, we, we've been going back and forth here. I mean, this this uh, Zora player, it's just a random player. I don't know who it is. But I'm starting to hit a point where I'm very, very stable. And that's what this deck does. The deck just stabilizes. Um, I locked down one of his Dawn that turn with my Jewelry Bonnie, so he only has nine Dawn to, to uh, work with this turn. He can't drop anything big. Uh, or if he does, it's going to be his entire turn. He plays out a new Zeph card. I, I think th that Zeph card is okay. Uh, and this guy was, I think, that if I'm not mistaken, I think this guy was running more of like a... Uh, an event heavy version of Sanji maybe not I'm not sure but I'm not a huge fan of Zeph th that five cost 5k Zeph in this deck or in, in like in Zoro and Sanji yeah and he's running yeah he's running Punk Gibson okay so swing in for seven here swing in for seven and if you can't block out of this there's no way you're blocking out of the the Bonnie swing but he does and he's he's actually running look, look at that he's running um what is that Parage shot Parage shot um so Again, th this is a version of the deck that I, I wouldn't say is like the greatest, but I also don't think it's bad. So I'm swinging out for five there. I did not um, uh, rest my dawn to play out my Rouge with, you know, to get the dawn back with Cavendish. I, I didn't do that first because I didn't want to hit like a Punk Gibson like the guy was playing. So now I'm going to pass the turn. I've got my blocker. He does have a full board. That little Paraj shot was pretty good with Zeph because he was able to set these cards up, throw them onto the field, and then, you know, from here, he's he, he's threatening a lot of damage. Uh, I'm very surprised he's not swinging for seven first. 
okay, he's just going straight for my um, Rosanante. That does make sense, excuse me. Okay, now playing out Zoro and Sanji here, that's a little bit crazy, let's just be honest. Like, there's no way that this guy is going to survive now, right? Like, if he had gotten down some more blockers, maybe he could have survived. But in all likelihood, I guess it wouldn't matter that much because I did just play Hody Jones. So now it's just going to be, let me pause it real quick. So now it would have just been just sevens across the board, right? It would have been, um, I had, so I, so I just swung seven with Cavendish, swung seven with Bonnie. I have three Dawn left, so I can go seven with Basil Hawkins, eight with Bonnie, and eight with Hody Jones. It's just, at that point, this guy's in so much trouble. And I'm sitting on, uh, what is it, two two Ks in hand, two searchers in case my board somehow goes away. Um, but yeah, it was just a matter of too much firepower, just way too much offensive firepower th there for him for him to survive from. Uh, really good stuff. I can't wait to play this uh, to to play this deck in OP07. And just to give you guys a, a quick look at this was the the list that I was running. I have modified it a little bit from what I've seen. A lot of people are running like four Hody Jones, four uh, Captain Kid. I think they are just running three. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, three Eustace Kids. I, but I think they're also running like three Zoros, or maybe they are just running two. But I, I basically did this. I dropped two Hody Jones, I dropped two Captain Kid, and I think either one Dofi or one Zoro, whatever, was maxed out, and I just went for um, Jewelry Bonnie. I just think this gives me a little more mid-game presence, and it helps me lock down, lock down either a Dawn or a character so I can just stabilize faster, and it's a 1k counter as well. I, I just liked this uh, feel of the deck a little bit better. All right, guys, that's about it. Like I said, really quick video today. Y'all know I'm, I'm uh, pretty long-winded with these videos, uh, but today is a short one for y'all, and hopefully you, get, you guys can check out the stream. Um, if, if you know if you're if you're even hearing this video in time to do that, because it will be later today at the time of recording this video. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh yeah, please do not forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, guys, peace.